Let's just make sure there's nothing in this car. Whoa. Almost stepped on. I could have sworn I stepped on that landmine just now. That could have been really, really bad. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. to subscribe and click that bell icon to get notified of my latest uploads hey guys and welcome back to another episode of 7 days i alpha 17 as you guys can see we already have the forge over here okay it's done cooking so let's just stop it for now we need more clay and stuff before we can start making forged iron and then also we're very close to be able to make the iron tools and stuff for now i think this is we can make the bicycle like so what are my mechanical parts um i think i put it away over here Yep, only one left. Uh, you can actually place down these chairs that you can pick up. These office chairs, and then you can wrench them. That's how I got enough mechanical parts to do all of this. So as you guys can see, I have more ammo at the moment on me. I'm going to carry water on me. We're going to drink all of these as soon as we encounter zombies. And then the repair kits I actually want to use. Uh, how much is this going to cost me? Only one. Okay, so I'm not going to repair the shotgun yet because it's a very crap quality one. But what I do want to re repair over here are these ones. Because these are all the ones that we're going to sell now. I should actually... How much is this going to... Um, I don't want to waste repair kits. I uh, like two on one weapon. How much is that going to give us? Almost fully repaired. Yeah, that's fine for now. This one I actually want to use. And then we can sell the one we have over here. I think that's going to work out a little bit better. We're going to modify this. And ammo goes back in there. Okay, so we finally have the bicycle. As soon as we encounter zombies, we're going to read these uh, papers over here. And we have a level 3 bike. Nice. So we're going to repair this quickly. That should only be one. Yes. And then these ones. Okay, so now we can sell all these guns. We're going to take these with us. Sell these and these. Unfortunately, this gun isn't fully repaired now, but it's going to still sell for a pretty penny. Yeah, I actually love these hunting rifles because I can't remember if it's uh, the last night or the night before, but I actually had zombies visit me at night, and the hunting rifles actually pick them off nicely. Okay, so first off, we're going to place the bike, and then also let's just quick check our skill points before we get going. So what I want to do next is get the iron tools, that's this one, level 2, but you need to have intellect 5 and level 20. Now to get intellect level 5, it's going to cost you 2 points. It sucks that you can't get to level 20 and then it only costs you one. But uh, that's how it's going to have to work for now. So I'm going to need one more point to do that. And I actually also want to go into stamina and stuff like cardio, for example. We actually need cardio now for the bike. So I'm going to use this one now. Although I might just end up regretting it. Stamina regen when sprinting. Um, let's see. Or should I go for agility? Increases the maximum amount of stamina. Eh. Now I'm going to save the point for now. I just hope that we don't encounter zombies and then have to sprint away. Especially if it's dogs or something. So now we have this. We have more storage space as well, which is awesome. And then you can actually... Well, we're not burdened or encumbered at the moment, so we can actually keep this on us. And where is the trader again? This direction. Okay, so I think the safest part will be to take the road. And we're going to take the road towards it. And let's just hope we don't come across bears and dogs and stuff. See, I don't know if it's just because of the bike level or because of my stamina, but I'm super slow on this bike. Okay, and sprint. Oh, I forgot that you now steer with the mouse. I think what I am going to do is... Oh, there's a vulture somewhere. Oops, come on, come on. Okay, what I want to do is just keep an eye out for dogs, but also every car that we come across, we should actually see if there's any ammo or mining helmet or something in. Especially the mining helmet, we need those. Okay, nope, but we can still sell those. I should technically loot every single building we come across, but I think we're going to save that for later. And obviously we can't stop for cars when there's dogs on us, so I'll only climb off when I see it's safe. Okay, there's a ton of vultures out here. Come on, bullseye. What? 
Oh, the bike threw me over. But that's dangerous because now a zombie can attack me while I'm on my back. This one is empty. We'll be this direction already. Why is this car empty? And this one over here? That's also empty. I can't remember coming this direction. Okay, so I should actually quickly see. There are still cars out here that I haven't looted. Oh, that's a dog. It's coming straight at me. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. On my bike, and let's go. So I actually have the ammo to kill every single dog and stuff I come across. It's just that it takes a lot of time stopping and then killing the zombies. Especially if there's a ton. We want to get to our objective. Okay, so now before I spend these points on anything else, let's just quickly put that into intellect. Where are you now? Ooh, hello. Ooh, and the click of death. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. He is going to try and come for us as soon as we're on the bike. Watch. Okay. So for now, it doesn't seem like he's coming. Let's go. I think the next time we go to the trade, I'll make sure that I loot every single car, even those ones off-road. Because there's a ton of cars out there, and they might just have those mining helmets that we need. It's a little bit dark at night, so I need something to see properly. Okay, there's a zombie over there, but he's a biker. Vulture, bye-bye. No, 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 no. Get away, get away, get away. Bullseye. And there's a snake somewhere over there. there. Okay, so come on, come on, come on. Loot this before the snake gets to me. I don't have my bone shove on me, I think, so I can't skin this thing. And bullseye. Woo, no bullseye. I really thought I hit it. Okay, so let's just see if we can save a little bit of ammo, and then there is a dog coming. Bullseye. Okay, for a moment I actually thought that I was going to get stuck in zooming like that, and the zombie would get me. Okay, so that should be the final zombies we get before we get to the trader. And since it's now safe to go off-road, I'm going to go straight for the trader. Okay, so let's see what this trader has for us. I'm so paranoid. Every single time I drive far distances, I need to actually go out, make sure that the OBS is picking up my voice, and then go back in again. So if I sometimes forget to cut that out, I do apologize, but that's the reason behind it. Oh, for a moment I thought it was a bear. Just the way the shade fell, that almost looked like a bear. Okay, so we can't pick those up. Uh, there should be stuff in here we can loot. This is destroyed. I've noticed the lag's a little bit better. I actually turned off the god rays, the sun shafts, and that actually helps quite a bit. Also turned a few other things off, like water and trees from high or yeah, high quality to medium quality, just to help a little bit with the lag. Okay, so let's see what you have for us. Can I see your inventory? And let's sell these guns to you. Now, if I'm not mistaken, you get 50. If this sells for 57, you get 57 XP as well. Although I thought it would sell for way more than just this. It seems they tweaked that. Okay, I almost saw my shotgun over here. That would have been a little bit bad. Steel arrowheads. Okay, so these... Yeah, they definitely nerfed the amount of XP and item. Oh, that's why. People used to use that to level up like insanely fast, but now you can't. Which is actually a good thing and a bad thing at the same time. Okay, so let's see what can I buy with only like 600 tokens. Better barter. I'm not going to use that or buy that. Uh, nope, nope, nope. Ooh, we actually need a... What's these? No, that's perception. We need the lucky glasses. And we need a leather duster or something. That's just going to help with the heat. Because we're always in constant heat. Okay, so food... Bacon, eggs, water, we have all that. We don't have to spend anything on that. Gunpowder, we don't need. Ooh, this is 2.3. So, see, everything's so expensive. You have to scavenge like crazy just to get a little bit of stuff. Uh, repair kits, I should actually get. We'll leave that for now. And then we need... What do they have here? Nothing actually that we can use right now. Sure they have concrete mix of here, but it's also super expensive. 
Do you buy that in stacks of 50? So five blocks worth is 250 coin. But we're not going to use that right now. It's too early. So it's just a waste spending any cash on that. Okay, so it doesn't seem like he has anything really for us. He has ammo, but I don't want to so buy that now. And let's see. Do you have any jobs? Fetch. Friend, I'm in trouble. I wonder if you can accept God's multiples. Oh, uh, no. It seems you have to first fetch that one and then give it in or hand it in. I wonder, the fetch mission is it now away or back to the town? It seems it's back in town. Nice. So we can now go back and we can do that mission. I also want to see if we can do the pull shop. And there's nothing else we can do with him right now. It'll actually be awesome if we can find a trader really, really close to us. And then as soon as we can get the bicycle or minibike, we need to get those as well. Okay, so for now, we can just make some space over here. So most of these we can actually put back on the bike. Hello, hello. You should technically be dying on these barbed wire fences over here. But it doesn't look like he's taking any damage. Come on, I'm giving headshots over here. And bullseye, thank you. Okay, so once again, I forgot that I was zoomed in and almost screwed me over. Okay, so I can sell this, but it's only sell price one. Damn, they nerfed the prices of stuff. Used to be able to buy so much. Okay, so we're gonna cut a straight line to town right now. I wanna get there as soon as possible. So that's gonna be right through. See, uh, the only thing I'm more scared about is landmines. So it's actually a lot safer just going on the road itself. And it seems it goes all the way. I wonder how wide that is. Going from the forest to over here in the desert. Because if we can cut it across that at a, like a small intersection, that might help. Just cut a little bit of time off our track. Ooh, there's a little PRI over here. I should actually quickly go in while we're here. I just hope there's no zombies or anything in the area. Like dogs, they can chase after us. Okay, so let's quickly loot this place. We are here, so why not? Let's just see where do we go in. I have to watch out for dogs and I have to watch out for vultures. But other than that, I don't think we have to worry much about anything else. Okay, so there's no... There's a zombie over here, but no dogs. Every single zombie that sees us, we have to kill at least. I mean, we don't always have time to kill every single one, but at least those ones that can follow us in. Let's see if a power shot will help. Bullseye, give my arrows back, and hit. Remember, just as he shows his head, you can actually swing and do a lot of damage. Now, where is the entrance over here? Let's just make sure there's nothing in this car. Whoa! Almost stepped on... I could have sworn I stepped on that landmine just now. That could have been really, really bad. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. Okay, so now that drew attention of everything in the distance, or in the surrounding area. Hello. My aim is still off. I, quite, I missed quite a few shots before I can actually hit one. But at least we only got attention of one dog and a few zombies. There's also that one over there. Make sure there's nothing behind us. Oh, come on. Out of stamina. That would have been so perfect. Okay, so there's just that one zombie left behind us. And then we can actually go into this place. It's weird that nothing came out. It almost makes me think there's nothing in there. Whoa. Stamina, stamina, stamina. That could have ended so badly. Bullseye, give my arrow back, and as you stand up, in the head. Nice. Okay, so, where is that... Oh, there is it. <laughs> I keep forgetting where this hubcap mine is. So you have to be very, very careful in the wasteland area, because there are hubcap mines everywhere. Okay, so, let's just keep the gun on us, in case there are any more dogs. And... This one, we should be able to kill stealth. Bullseye. I heard something through the grass. I thought it might be a dog or something behind us. That would suck. Oh, 
Oh wow! Did you even notice Sonia in the ground over here? She melded so perfectly with the floor. In the head, make sure there's no zombies behind here and on top. Hello there, so that's you. He's gonna come after me. He's like, jump over. Okay, he doesn't want to jump. Makes it easier for me to hit him. And the sound is bugged. Come on, come on, come on. And you just finally decide to jump. Arrows back and miss. And headshot. Nice. Okay, so let's quickly loot this place. Uh, there should be zombies in that place over there, and that's where the stash is in this place. So hopefully we can get this done before any zombies notice us. Hello. It's a shame the fetch or clear event isn't this place. It makes things so much easier for us. Oh, come on, miss. That was bad. Come on, come on, Sean. And just one more shot and you're dead. Come on. Whoa, miss. That was a really bad shot from me. Damn. Okay, so there should be a stash on the roof as well. Hello, come towards me, thank you. Okay, so I was able to kill her while stunned and out of stamina, nice. Well, let's just go this direction. I think this is the direction you should go. This is locked. That zombie sounds like, yep, he's outside. I wonder if he fell down or something. Damn, that was a waste of arrows. Come on. In the head and... In the head. Thank you. I'm not going to get those back now because I don't want to jump down from here. I am crouched still, but there are no zombies over here, so I don't have to crouch. And there might be something on the roof, so let's just quickly check that as well. There's a ton of cloth over here that we can actually get. Okay, nothing. That usually had something good in it, but it doesn't have any more. They nerfed quite a bit in the last update. I noticed that. Okay, what's behind this? And, ooh, nice! A shotgun crate. Now we just have to wait a little bit for our stamina to regen. And hope the zombies from behind don't get us. The nice thing from hitting the left, uh, using the left click button is you can actually hit the boxes a lot faster. Uh, you don't have to wait for your stamina to regen like you do with the other shots. Okay, so this one we can actually sell. So we just do that and then also we take this one out. Come on. Like so, and put up. Okay, so the best shotgun is still the one we're going to use, and the rest we can actually sell. I should have actually dumped all of these on the bike. There's no need to carry them around. No zombie in here. No zombie in here. Usually the stash you have to find is like somewhere in here on that or on the roof or something. Okay, so let's hope there are no fat guys or Hawaiian guys or fat ladies down here. They're the toughest to take down. Okay, so let's see what this place has to offer. No zombie, no zombie, and there should be a few zombies over there. Uh, we can handle these. So let's go for the toughest one first. The lady, we should be able to power hit. Come on, come on, come on. Thank you. And bullseye, nice. So I should actually stop doing this habit of zooming in or keeping zoomed in the whole time. Because I move so slowly when you're zoomed like this. Okay, that was the only ones as far as I can see. Okay, give me my arrows back, thank you. Unfortunately, we don't have something strong enough to break through the safe over here, but... We have spiked knuckles, nice. Okay, now what's behind here? This is skew. I wonder if that means there's something behind it. Ooh, nice, there is. Still don't know how to pick those up yet. So these can actually put... I wonder if that means it's better or worse. 
I'll take that out of the base. We can dump most of it on the bike so I don't have to worry about carrying stuff. Okay, so there are quite a few zombies down there. But I wonder if they're on the outside or inside. Okay, there's a biker dude in the tree. Uh, so, where is my bicycle? It is on that side, I believe. We're just going to grab the bike and then head straight back to the base because we also still need to loot that coal store. But where did I leave my bike? Oh, yeah. Accidentally did a power attack just now. So we want to go straight over and drop everything, but I need to dump everything I have on me because we don't want to try and drive encumbered. So we're just going to do this, put the guns in there at least, like so. Uh, that seems to be, have been the only guns. Okay, now we're not encumbered anymore and we should be able to drive and get there easier. Let's just drink to get rid of this heat. And while she's here, why not? I should actually stop the power attacks because it wastes way too much stamina. Especially since I still want to get somewhere by with a bicycle. Come on. Stuck. Thank you. And... Whoops, that was close. Wait, can't they get through that? Are they taller than I am? Okay, and there's another arrow somewhere over here. Okay, so let's quickly go back to the... Well, we have to go back to the base first to drop stuff and then to the pulse over here. So let's go. Oh, crap, 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 crap. There's a vulture behind me. Oh, I got stuck on the hill over there, so I couldn't get away from it. Only problem is, I don't want to stop in the wasteland itself because there might be dogs and stuff over here. Let's just get away from here. And I am destroying my bike fabulously. Stop, and where's my pistol? Wasted two shots, and bullseye. Thank you. We don't need the feathers because we already have like three stacks at the base. And there seems to be a car over here. Let's just see what this has. Come on, come on, come on. There's a zombie on the right and left. I hope we can actually hear a dog approach as they approach. It was earlier when those dogs came after us, I didn't hear a thing. Okay, I'm going to leave the crawler for now and let's just go back to the base. I want to get that pull shot before the episode ends. Damn, as, so as soon as you lose momentum up that hill, you st get stuck on that hill. So it's actually, you have to sprint up hills to make sure you don't get stuck on them. I mean, just imagine you get stuck there and a dog or something tries attacking, or a vulture. Okay, so we're almost at the base. I actually preferred it when you could actually steer with your arrow keys, because I have a real hard time steering with my mouse. It's so hard evading things on the road if you're steering with your mouse. Who knows, so perhaps it's just because I'm used to this kind of game. Okay, so let's grab what we can. Um, you can't R them. Oh, you can. Nice. And quickly get up here. I should actually make entrances on all sides so I don't have to run around like this. It's just uh, out of stamina and you need to get up there and there's zombies on you. So it's way safer if there's a way in on all four sides. So jump on this so the zombies can't do that. And jump up. From there I thought I missed. I just want to eat something as well before we continue. Uh, no, nope, let's just drink, but we're still going to drink it. We're going to drop everything here, grab some food, and then head to the pull shop. Uh, that we can actually keep for now. Okay, so I just noticed I still have all of these on me. And it's like Lucky Looter, Heavy Armor, so it's more defense. Uh, healing Factor, so I heal faster. And this one is Headshot, so... Stealth headshots should do way more damage. I can't believe I didn't read those earlier. I should have actually read them on the way to the trader so I can at least kill all those dogs and stuff on us. Okay, so let's quickly get that bike and go to the pull shop. Okay, so finally, yeah, let's quickly see what we can get. Hopefully with a lucky loot, so we're going to get some uh, better loot at this place now. And also, there should still be zombies on the roof. I should technically quickly go for them first. I mean, then we don't have to worry about them falling in on our heads. Okay, I hope, because after this, I think the episode's going to end, and I'm not going to play right now again, so I hope that the books we just read don't go away um, when you log off, when you exit the game. I hope they continue.
Make sure that no zombies sneak up on us over here, so I should actually probably regain my stamina a bit. And there's a ton of zombies out there. You can actually see them standing on the hill. Okay, there's a zombie upstairs. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Thank you. Sounds like there's a zombie downstairs as well. Yep, okay, so there are three zombies up top. Let's just quickly get them first. The ones downstairs might join us up here if we wait long enough. Come on. Don't miss. Also, I don't want them destroying way too many things downstairs because we still want to loot those things. We need the poles. Especially since the Day 7 Horde is very close at hand. So my mouse has gotten a little bit better, but I think it's because, uh, it's when I start sweating uh, on the mouse pad that I actually get the stutter. It's like the mouse gets stuck. Oh wow, he actually sprained my leg or broke it. Damn. Okay, so don't get too close to crawlers. That is dead. Let's see if there's anything up here. There should be. And hopefully we get a splint now downstairs. Because now we... Oh, yes! Nerdy glasses. Crafting tier. One. Uh, crafting time and XP gain. Where? Thank you. Now we're going to get more XP from killing zombies. I've been waiting for this kill. Okay, so now we're out of stamina. Let's just use this one. Nice, thank you. And there's a vulture in the area. We need to be careful. Okay, so there's nothing back here. Let's go in. Let's make sure no zombies are coming up the ladder as we go down. Uh, like these two. Let's let them come to us. It's easier because now we can actually regain our stamina while we wait. Bullseye and... Bullseye. Didn't mean to hit you again. Come on, stand up. One more shot, should do it, thank you. Give me my arrow back. Hopefully most of them from downstairs are here now. Or have been killed, so this is actually going to be a lot faster to loot this place then. Oh, that was a bad shot. Like a millimeter above the head. And... Power attack, thank you. Now, come on, come on, come on, we need to get down before more zombies show up. And two more showed up. Okay, so these should be all the zombies from in there. Hello. I can't afford to be missing shots like that. It's just a total waste of stamina. Come on and hit. That vulture is asking to be shot. It's begging. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Just need a left click. Come on. They're all coming after me. I wonder if it's also the zombies in the area. This can't be all from inside. Especially if there's still zombies inside. You can hear them still sleeping. Oh, wow. That went straight past the head. Come on. Even the power attack. Okay, regain that last five stamina. Thank you. And hit. Now, please, let me off the roof. Am I? Yes, thank you, finally. But now my leg is damaged. Ooh, and there's a nurse. Hello. How attack? Can I? Can I? Can I? Oh, miss. I mean, I, was, I missed a head. Come on. Stop twitching. Thank you. Okay, so I'm out of stamina, out of food. Just see, did the breakthrough here somewhere? Did not. Oh, I wanted to say none of them come from in there. Okay, so we can scrap that. Let's just drink a water for some stamina and just to regain some things. Uh, hello. So it wasn't all the zombies. So all of that was just the surrounding zombies, more or less, and a few from inside. Come on, hit. Thank you. I should actually be using my gun, it's way faster, but I don't want to waste the ammo on normal zombies like these. I'd rather uh, use it on like the tough tank zombies. And power attack, thank you. 
Oh, he's still not dead. Okay, let's just make sure that the aisles are clear before we go in here. Before we do anything in here, rather. There's a tad we can loot. Nice. So the zombies should be clear. Nothing in there. I should actually block that entrance. Oh, damn. A ton of zombies. Oh, come on, hit. Bullseye, one down. And come on, two missed. Okay, so I just have this feeling a zombie's gonna sneak up behind me. I can actually hear zombies outside. Oh, that was a bad miss. I swung way too early. This episode's actually turning out a little bit longer than I actually wanted it to. But I want to loot this place at least. I've been saying I want to loot it, I want to loot it, so I should loot it at least. There doesn't seem to be anything in the roof, and no zombie in here. Okay, so let's get this started. I think it's going to be better if I just speed play the looting over here. Because we've killed most of the zombies already. And there's nothing really left to say until we've seen what we actually get from this place. Except, of course, for the one or two zombies still coming in. I'm actually really disappointed in the loot we're getting over here, especially in the cash registers. I mean, they nerfed the amount of cash you get from selling stuff at the trader, and now it's also a lot harder finding the cash in the real world itself. So it's going to take way longer to be able to actually buy anything from the trader. Okay, so as you guys can see, we've got a ton of stuff over here. We've got some antibiotics, which is awesome. Even a proper first aid kit and normal first aid bandages. We actually need these for the minor damage you get from zombies. I have a ton of grain alcohol here, so later when we make our own first aid kits, that's going to help a ton. And what else? What else? What's this? Recog. Perception, range damage, 500%, water minus 30. Okay, so that helps you focus a bit. Nice. Okay, so there's a pig outside. I think I'm going to leave it for now. Um, I need to actually carry my machete with me. You can skin a animal with a fire axe, but you don't get as much meat. So I just need to remember to bring that with me. And the next time, we're going to start looting these bigger buildings. So it's going to be bigger, tougher, and way more scary. Anyways, if you guys liked this episode, please have a like and share with your friends. Any comments or tips or feedback? Did I miss anything? What do you guys think about this episode? Let me know down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time.